Are we all ready? What is now amiss that Caesar and his senate must redress? Most high, most mighty, and most puissant Caesar, Metellus Simber throws before thy seat a humble heart. I must prevent thee, Simber. These couchings and these lowly courtesies might fire the blood of ordinary men and turn preordinance in the first decree into the law of children. Be not found to think that Caesar bears such rebel blood that will be thawed by from the true quality. With that emoted fools, by means sweet words, low-key crook courtesies, and base spanel flaunting, thy brother by decree is banished. If those bend pray and thawn for him, I spur you thee like a cur out of my way. No Caesar doth not wrong, nor without cause will he be satisfied. Is there no voice more worthy than my own to sound more sweetly in great Caesar's ear for the repelling of my banished brother? I kiss thy hand, but not in flattery, Caesar, desiring thee that Publius Simber may have the immediate freedom of repeal. What, Brutus? Pardon, Caesar, Caesar, pardon, as well as thy foot doth Cassius fall to break infringement for Publius Simber. I could be well moved if I were as you. If I could pray to move, prayers would move me. But I am as constant as the northern star of those who true fixed on resting quality. There is no fellow to the fir firmament. The skies are painted with unnumbered sparks, and they are on fire, and every one doth shine. But there is but one in all doth hold his place. So in the world tis furnished well with men, and men are flesh with blood and apprehensive. Yet, in the number, I do not know, but one, those unsiable holds in rank, unshaken of motion, and that I am he. Let me a little show it, even in this, that I was as constant, Simber should be banished, and constant do remain to keep him so. O oh, Caesar! Hence, while thou lift up high Olympus! Great Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless kneel? Speak hands for me! Senators, do not be frightened. Fly not, stand still. Ambition's debt is paid. Go to the pulpit, Brutus. And Cassius, too. Where's Publius? Here, quite confronted with this immunity. Stand fast together, lest some friend of Caesar should chance. Talk not of standing, Publius, good cheer. There is no harm intended to your person, nor to no Roman else. So tell them, Publius. And leave us, Publius, lest that the people rushing on us should do your age some mischief. And do so, and let no man abide this deed. But we are the doors. <laughs> Thank you.